Hello, everyone, and welcome back to our virtual Mishnah Here We're holding a Mishnah Berurah Beis, and I hope that today we will complete Ayin Vav Amad Aleph and do a piece of Ayin Vav Amad Beis. I said that yesterday as well. It was not to be, but I hope that it will be that way today. Before we begin our learning today, our learning should be Eschus for Achenu Kabeis Yisrael on the Sunnah Matzara Bashivya Haim Demei Bayam Abein Bayabasha Amakim Yerachem Alehem. I do want to emphasize, you know, I know looking at the news that we're over a hundred days uh, since the terrible events of Simchas Torah, and unfortunately human nature is that you adopt to a situation and the situation kind of becomes normal. But if you stop for a moment, and you think about the the hostages that are in tunnels or, or who knows what situations that they're in. They're Achenu Kalbeis Yisrael. I don't care what stripe, I don't care what level of observance, they are Achenu Kalbeis Yisrael. And the reason they're there is because they are Yehudim. And therefore, it is an, an attack on every single one of us It's our brothers, our sisters, and really we we have to have them in mind in every tefillah, every Shemayin Esrei that we daven, every Kapitel Tehillim that we say, and of course the boots on the ground as well that are in Makrim Sakana. We have to have them in mind. We can't lose sight of it. We can't forget it. It can't just become something that's accepted our tefillahs are more powerful than anything else. Our tefillahs are more powerful than any decisions that are being made in world capitals. Our decisions are, our tefillahs are more powerful than decisions that are being made in the Knesset and in the war cabinet. Our tefillah, our Torah is more powerful than anything. And therefore, it is incumbent upon us to have it in mind and to not lose sight of it, not lose track of it, and to keep thinking about it on a daily basis. Also, our learning should be a schus refuah shalema for our real bit, Yosef ben Miriam Rezel and Meir ben Chayesar. Now, yesterday, we spoke at great length of the question of yayin shalifnei hamazayin, wine that you drink before a meal, you make a bari priyagafen, and you drink a cup of wine before a meal. Similarly, kiddish, which is effectively yayin shalifnei hamazayin, we spoke at length about the Bari Priyagafen on the Yayin Shalafte Amazon and the Bari Priyagafen on Kiddush, pottering any wine that you're going to drink Pesach Amazon, any Yayin that you're going to drink during the Suda from a Bracha Rishayna. We also spoke about the ability of Berkas Hamazon, the ability of benching, to cover the Bracha Achreina on the Yayin Lifnei Hamazon. Again, you made a bar priyagafen before the meal. You drank wine before the meal. You made kiddush. You made a bar priyagafen before the meal. You drank wine before the meal. That wine needs a bracha achrayna. Is it incorporated? Is it covered by the bracha achrayna of benching that was done by the meal? We spoke about these questions at length yesterday. Now, what we said in a nutshell was... We learned in the Mechaber, very clear. The bracha of Hagafen, the bracha Rishayna of Hagafen, on the Yayin Shalafnei Hamazen, patters the Yayin Besay Hamazen from a bracha Rishayna. The Hagafen on Kiddush patters any Yayin Shebesay Hamazen from a bracha Rishayna. So you make Hagafen on wine before the meal, you make Kiddush, you make Hagafen on wine before the meal, and then you drink wine during the meal, you do not need a bracha rishayna. We said that the reason for that is, let's go mikal el hakaved, from the simpler case to the bigger chiddush. The simple case is yayin shalafnei amazayin. We said that when you drank yayin shalafnei amazayin, that is an appetizer. That's bal of tayachameyayim. Since it's bal of tayachameyayim, we said that it covers the bracha rishayna on any yayin that you drink during the suda, because since it's an appetizer, the way we said it yesterday was, since it's an appetizer, 
it covers the Rocha Rishayna of the Yayin Besay Hamazin. Then we wondered about Kiddush. Kiddush, you don't drink the wine of Kiddush, Liftaya Chamayayim. You drink the Yayin of Kiddush because it's a mitzvah, it's a chiv of Kiddush. And the Mechabra told us that the Bari Priyagafen on the Kiddush wine also potters the Yayin Besay Chamazin. Why is that? So we said, the Mishnah Brewer told us on Ayin Hei Amid Beis in Ois Katan Ches, the Mishnah Brewer told us, well, um, Yayin is Ba for a mitzvah, and what the Mepharshim say is, Ein Kiddush Elba Mokan Suda. So even though it's not being drank, being drunk as an appetizer, you're not drinking the Kiddush wine, Leftarachem Ayayim, you're drinking it to fulfill your chiv of Kiddush, still, that also forges a connection with the Yayin Besay Chamazin, and it covers the Bracha Rishayin on any Yayin that you drink Besay Chamazin. When it came to benching, what we said is that the benching will cover the Yayin that you drink Shalafnei Hamazin. Why? Because we said the yayin b'seicha mazayin, the yayin shalafnei mazayin. Again, it's essentially it's a it's an appetizer. It's an appetizer, the yayin shalafnei mazayin. One second, I'm sorry. Bear with me for one second. Right, chaypeteres yayin shalafnei mazayin. Because the mishnah said it nice cut and chaf talit. That's again, since it's an appetizer, said the the Mishnabura, it is considered a dover that's ba machmas hasuda. Why are you drinking that wine? You're drinking that wine because it's machmas hasuda. What's an appetizer? An appetizer is to generate an appetite to eat the suda. So it is a dover she ba machmas hasuda, and therefore benching covers it. Kiddish, the mechaber doesn't directly address the question of Berkes HaMazen covering Kiddush, but the Ramah did tell us, Ayin come on Say Sim and Reish Ayin Vez, and the Mishnah Brewer told us in Ois Katan Chavav that if you look at Reish Ayin Vez, you'll see over there that it's very clear that Berkes HaMazen does cover Kiddush. Again, why does Berkes HaMazen cover Kiddush? Berkes HaMazen covers Kiddush because it's Bom Achmas HaSuda, and Birka Samazim is a blanket, it's a blanket bracha achrona that will cover anything that's ba machmas asuda. This is the shmuz that we had yesterday that took the vast majority of yesterday's share. Why am I repeating it? Well, I received a message from a dear nephew of mine, Rabbi Yaakov Weiss, who listens to this year. And he posed a question that really has been niggling at me since the beginning of the simon. The question that he posed is really a very basic question. We're struggling over here with the idea of Kiddush, and we'll see that we struggle even greater with Avdallah. But we're struggling with the question of the Yayin of Kiddush. Does the Brachari Shaina on Kiddush cover the brachari shayna on wine that we drink during the meal? Does berkas hamazan at the end of the meal cover the brachach reina on the ayin of Kiddush? We're struggling to figure it out. And we're coming up with svaras. And the, the svara that we keep falling back on is, well, yayin shalafte hamazan is an appetizer. Kiddush is not really an appetizer. Yeah, but ain't Kiddush elabamakam suda. So, all right, uh, and we're saying, yeah, the Hagafen on Kiddush covers the Hagafen on Yayin Shabbosai Chasuda, and since Ein Kiddush Yalla B'Makim Suda, the Kiddush is considered Bom Machmas Asuda, and Benching will cover the, the Kiddush. Frecked my nephew, Rabbi Yaakov, he says, I don't understand. You sit down to your Suda on Shabbos, and you're allowed to eat, you're not allowed to eat. Why? Because you have to make Kiddush. So isn't it a Dover Pashat? You, you're not allowed to eat the Suda unless you make Kiddush. So does it, I mean, forget an appetizer. You're right. Tuesday night, you sit down in the steakhouse, you drink a glass of Cabernet uh, at the beginning of the meal. It's bowl of and it's an appetizer. 
But lechayre kiddush is even greater than an appetizer. You're not allowed to eat before you make kiddush. An appetizer, maybe it will generate your appetite, maybe it won't generate an appetite. What happens if you drink the Cabernet and you didn't particularly like it? So it didn't get your appetite going, and yet it's a Dover Pasha to us that a Hagafen and Yayin Shalafteh Amazon covers a Hagafen on the Yayin Besaich Amazon. It's a Dover Pasha to us that Pikas Amazon at the end of the Suda covers the Brach Akroin on the Yayin Shalafteh Amazon. For heaven's sakes, Kiddush, you're not allowed to eat unless you make Kiddush. So lechayra, it should be a davar poshet that the hagafen on the kiddush wine covers the hagafen on yaim b'sechasuda and berkis hamazon at the end of the suda covers the brach on on the kiddush wine. That is the question that was posed. Some of you may have seen it because I think it came through on the WhatsApp channel. That was the question that was posed by my nephew. Now the truth is. I was going to answer this question yesterday, and I forgot to. I forgot to address it. Everything is been a shamayim, especially when you're saying a shir in Torah to a rabbim. I hope I'm doing it lishma. I try to do it lishma. You have siyata deshmaya. There's a siyata deshmaya that I did not answer the question yesterday, because I don't know if I'm ready to say that I would have answered it incorrectly, but I definitely would have missed something. And I'm very happy that when I opened up my Sfarim to prepare share today, something made me revisit the question. And in revisiting the question, I ended up going through a Prima Godim, and I ended up going through an Arach HaShulchan. And let me tell you what my research uncovered. My research uncovered a new understanding in why it is that the Hagafen on Yayin Shalafter Amazon and the Yayin, the Bari Priyagafen, and the Yayin of Kiddush potters the Yayin Shabbosai Chamazin. I have a new understanding of the sugya now. It appears, based on, on my research, that in order for a bracha Rishayna on something that comes Lifnei Hamazin to potter something that comes Besai Chamazin from a bracha Rishayna, we need two factors. What are those two factors? One factor is that the bracha, the item that you're making the bracha on, has to be either at least as chashuv or preferably more chashuv than what's going to come beside Hamazai. Now, what do I mean when I say more chashuv? I'm not talking about, I'm not talking about a special reserve Cabernet versus a low-level, um, you know, Jeunesse, um, Herzog Jeunesse Cabernet. So I'm not talking about this is a $35 bottle and this is a $12 bottle. That's not what I'm talking about when I say cheshivas. What I'm talking about is something that we spoke about several shiurim ago. And that is that the Yayin Shalafnei Amazon and the Yayin Shebesoy Chamazayin have different roles. The Yayin Shebesoy Chamazayin, in the words of the Chazal, the Rishayinim, that is a Ba Lishrois Hamaychel. The drink that you drink, Besoy Chasuda, comes to wash down the food. It's coming almost as a tuffle to the food. When you eat food, you also drink drinks. It's almost a tuffle. I'm not saying it's a tuffle, because remember, yayin cannot be a tuffle to food. Yayin is too choshev. It can't even be a tuffle to a pot, to pass, halachically. That's why after you wash, you still have to make a parbiyagafen and yayin. So it's not halachically a tuffle. But the yayin that you drink, the role of that yayin is as part of the suda. It's balish rois hamaychel. It's not ba lishtois. It's not a standalone drink. It's not pshat that in the middle of the suda, when I'm eating my suda, I eat a piece of roast, I have a piece of kogol, and now there's another Michael here. I'm drinking wine. No, I'm drinking wine agav the suda. It's almost secondary to the suda. It's Ba Lishrois. 
Masha'en Kane, by way of contrast, Yayin Shelefne Hamazin is more Choshev. Because Yayin Shelefne Hamazin is Balishtois. That is a standalone drink, and it's more Choshev. Therefore, we have factor number one. The first factor that we need for the Bracha Rishayna of one item, to part to the Bracha Rishayna on the other item, in this case, the Bracha Rishayna of Agafet on the Yayin Shalafnei Hamazin, to potter the Bracha Rishayna of the Yayin Besaych Hamazin, is that the Yayin Shalafnei Hamazin is more Choshev than the Yayin Shetoych Hamazin. The Yayin Shalafnei Hamazin is Balishtais. It's a standalone drink. The Yayin Besaych Hamazin is Balishrois. In the beautiful words of the Arach HaShulchan, he says like this, Amru Chazal, the Yayin Shalif Neyamazin, Poiter Yayin Shebisai Chamazin, Vishala Achar Amazin. The Yayin that you drink Koydam Amazin could potter the Yayin that you drink Bisai Chamazin. It could also potter the Yayin Shala Achar Amazin, which, if you remember, was the wine that they used to drink between the end of the meal and benching when the meal was already over. Okay. Says Derek HaShulchan right away, We don't have this concept of Yayin Shalach HaMazayin. Until we bench, it's all called Yayin Shebesay HaMazayin. But Yayin Shebesay HaMazayin ain't a part of Yayin Shalach HaMazayin. Yayin Besay HaMazayin cannot part of Yayin Shalach HaMazayin. Says Derek HaShulchan V'hatam. What's the reason for this? The Yayin Shalifnei HaMazayin V'shalach HaMazayin the yayin that you drink, Shalafne Amazon, and the yayin that they used to drink, La'achar Amazon, Ba'im Lishtia. Those are standalone drinks. V'shebesoich Amazon, the yayin that you drink in the middle of the Amazon, Hurak Lishroi Samaychel Shebemeyayin, is only to wash down the food. V'lishtois, yayin that you drink as a standalone drink, Chashiv Yoyser Melishrois is more Chashiv than Yayin that you drink in the middle of the Suda, Lishrois. Ulechain, and therefore, Ma Shepa Lishtois, the Yayin like Yayin Shelefnei Amazon, that's Ba Lishtois, Poiter as Haba Lishrois. It could Pater the Yayin Besaych Amazon, that is a lower level. It's only Ba Lishrois. Veloi Lehepech. But not the opposite. To ha enoi chashev, because the lesser chashev drink, enoi poiter as a chashev, cannot patter the more chashev a drink. And I believe that the Arach HaShulchid is largely basing himself on the prima godim and the mishpitzais. So, I said that there are two factors, though. This is factor number one. Factor number one is a question of chashivas. But then there's factor number two. Factor number two is, in order for the bracha rishayna on the item that came lefnei amazin to pater the item that came besaych amazin, there has to be a connection between the two. If there's no connection between them, how could the bracha rishayna on one possibly pater the bracha rishayna on the second? For example, is anybody going to suggest that if you make a bracha bari priyagafen at 11 o'clock in the morning, on a glass of Cabernet. It's very choshev. It's a standalone drink. You're drinking it at 11 o'clock in the morning with no food on the table. It's a standalone drink. You needed a stiff drink. So you had a glass of Cabernet. Now, at 1.30 in the afternoon, you sit down to eat lunch, and by your lunch, you're going to drink yayin. Besay chasuda. Is anybody going to suggest that the broccoli shayna that you made on 11 o'clock should potter the yayin that you're going to drink besay chasuda at 145? No, of course not. Why? There's zero connection. There's no connection between the two. Aye, the 11 o'clock drink was more chashiv than the 145 drink? Who cares? There's, there's, there's no connection between the two drinks. So how can it possibly potter? So factor number two that you need is connection. Now, let's review what we spoke about yesterday and what we spoke about at the beginning of this year. 
We have over here two questions. One is standard issue, Yayin Chalafteh Amazon, Tuesday night. You went to the steakhouse with a couple of friends. You go ahead, you make a Bari Priya Goffin on a Cabernet, and then you sit down to a Suda, and during the Suda, you're going to drink wine. Do we have the two factors? Well, we have factor number one, which is Chashivas. The Yayin, the Cabernet that you drank before the Suda was a standalone drink. You, it was balishtois, not balishrois. It wasn't there to wash down the food. You didn't eat any food yet. So it's a more chashiv than the yayin that you're going to drink taichasuda. Connection? Yes, there's connection. Why? What's the connection? Two things. First of all, you drank it right before the suda. So chronologically, there's a connection. But number two, it's an appetizer. It's ba liftai chameyayim. Why are you drinking it? You're drinking it as an appetizer. If you're drinking it as an appetizer, it's intimately connected with the suda. So you've got chashivus and you've got connection. Therefore, yayin shelifna mazain patters the yayin shebesaycha mazain. Now let's move on to kiddush. Do we have both factors by kiddush? Well, chashivus you have. Why do you have chashivas? Says the Yarech HaShulchan. I think it was the Yarech HaShulchan, not the pre magadim Let me just check. He says, No, it must be the pre magadim I think it's the Lashon of the pre magadim that says... Oh, here it is. It's the Prima Godim. The Prima Godim says, you want to talk about Chashivas? Says the Prima Godim, Kamash Balon, Deloy Tame Adafka Yayin Kaidim Amazon. Don't think that standard issue Yayin Shalifne Amazon, the Chashiv, is Chashiv because it's Bal Liftaya Kamayayim Vilishtois. It's a standalone drink. It's a lishtois. So you might think that that's considered chashivas. So poiter b'say chasuda, aval yayin kiddish, de'en ba lishtois. Is it a standalone drink that you're drinking lishtois? You want to drink it? No. You're drinking it because you have to drink it. You drink it because you have a chiv to drink it. Now you're thinking, well, Rabbi Weiss, but it is a standalone drink. Yes, it's a standalone drink, but it's not a standalone drink that you're drinking because you want to drink the drink. It's not the Cabernet that you drank before the steakhouse dinner. Over there, you ordered a chashev, a bottle of Cabernet, and you're having a standalone drink. That's chashev. Over here, I'm drinking it because I have to. I'll give you the biggest raya. The biggest raya is that when you're having a party and you want to have a chashev a drink, a lot of people go out and buy a $35 bottle. But for Kiddush, I'm not saying this is right, but for Kiddush, a lot of people stock cases of cream of lager, and they stock cases of, of Concord grape. Kiddush wine, right, right? It's a drink that you have to drink. It's, a, it's part and parcel, the Shabbos suit, it's a chiv. You have to drink it. So maybe it doesn't have the chashivus. Factor number one, you need chashivus for the lefnei hamazin, the pater, the besay hamazin. Says the prima godim, you would have a havamina, that by Yayin Shalaf Amazon, you have factor number one, you have the Chashivas. Maybe by Kiddush Yayin, you don't have the Chashivas. Kamash Balon says to Pribagadim, what do you mean? You have an even greater Chashivas. Chashivas to Mitzvah. I don't care what you want. I don't care. The bottom line is, this is a Mitzvah drink. I try to have in mind when I make Kiddush. And when I make Kiddush, especially you come home Shabbos morning from the Suda, a lot of times either you didn't eat or drink anything all day, or maybe you had a quick drink before you went to shul. You come up hours into the day, you're thirsty, you have a nice cold drink of, of wine. When I drink that wine, I have in mind Oynik Shabbos. I have in mind as it's going down, this Oynik Shabbos, this is Kiddush Yayin, it's Oynik Shabbos, the delicious cold wine. Cheshivusa the mitzvah. So, chashivas, factor number one, says the Prima Godim, you certainly have. But now you need factor number two. 
It's not enough to have factor number one. You also need connection. Do you have connection? By standard issue, Yayin Shalif Namaz, and you have connection because it's Liftaya Kamayayim. But this isn't Liftaya Kamayayim. Do you have connection? Says the halacha, yes, you have connection. Why? Because ain't kiddish elabamakim suda. If the halacha tells me ain't kiddish elabamakim suda, so then the halacha is telling me that kiddish and suda are intimately connected. Ain't kiddish elabamakim suda. So you have both factors. You have connection and you have chashivas. Then when it comes to the question of benching, covering the kiddish wine, and benching covering the Yayin Shalaf Amazon. So for benching to cover, what do you need? Over there, you only need one factor. What's the factor that you need? You need that the item that you're trying to cover with Berkes Hamazen has to be something that was Ba Machma Sasuda. Well, Yayin Shalaf Amazon is clearly Ba Machma Sasuda. Again, it's an appetizer. What did you eat it for? What did you drink it for? You drank it to spur the appetite for the meal. So that's certainly Ba Machmas Asuda, and obviously Berkes Hamazon covers it. Kiddush, we saw yesterday that the Chavetz Chaim is tangled up in knots over the Berkes Hamazon covering Kiddush. It's not so posh. We said that in Reishayin Be- in Reishayin Beis, we said it is posh. Over there, the Mishnah Brewer is not mefakfik. Over here, he's mefakfik with the Rishayinim and this and that. Why? Because over here, the argument that it's Ba Machma Sasuda is again the argument of Ein Kiddush Ela Bamakim Suda. So since Ein Kiddush Ela Bamakim Suda, it's considered Ba Machma Sasuda. But is it Ba Machma Sasuda from an eating standpoint? You see the difference between the regular Yayin Chalaf Muslim and Kiddush? The Yayin Chalaf Muslim is Mamish Ba Machma Sasuda. The whole point of it is to spur on an appetite for the Suda. Not so the Kiddush. Yes, there's a connection. There's a connection of Ein Kiddush B'makam, El B'makam Suda. So you cannot deny that Kiddush is connected to the Suda. So for the question of the Bracha Rishayna, it gave us factor number two. It gave us connection. That we definitely have. But when it comes to the question of Brikas Muslim covering it, it's B'makam Makmas Suda. Because in Kiddush Elam Malakim Suda, it's called Ba Machma Sasuda. So it seems that, yes, we bask him that it is. But it's harder to say that it's Ba Machma Sasuda. Now to the question of my nephew. My nephew wanted to know, well, how about the fact that you can't eat without making Kiddush? The answer is, it's true. You can't eat without making Kiddush. But let's again put that into the equation of whether or not the Hagafen on Kiddush is going to cover the Hagafen of the Yayin Shabbosay Hamazay. Again, you need the two factors. Factor number one, you clearly have. Chashivas. We said you have the Chashivas of the Mitzvah. But you need connection. The fact that you cannot eat unless you make Kiddush does not necessarily forge a connection between Kiddush and the Suda. Now you're looking at the screen and you say, Robert Weiss, what did you just say? How could you say that there's no connection between the Kiddush Yayan and the Suda if you can't possibly eat without going ahead and making Kiddush first? I'll tell you what the answer is. Because again, you have to understand what it means that there's a connection between the Kiddush Yayan and the Suda. And look at it in terms, again, of the Tuesday Yayin Shalaf Muslim. Over there, the connection is that the Yayin Shalaf Muslim comes for the Suda. It generates the appetite for the Suda. I am drinking it as part of my Suda. I'm drinking it because I want to be able to eat more by my Suda. I want it to start my appetite. The appetite comes with the essence. So I want, I want to drink that wine as part of my Suda to help me eat my Suda. Me. It's about my mindset and my thought process. In my thought process, it's a mamish part and parcel of the Suda. And therefore, yes, it's going to potter the Bracha Rishayna, and Berkha Samazin is also going to potter it. But when it comes to Kiddush, is Kiddush what? 
because Ein Kiddush Yalom Mamakim Suda, it becomes part of the Suda, because I can't eat without making Kiddush first. It's a technicality. It's a rule. It's a halacha. Yes, it's a rule. It's a halacha. I can't eat. Unless I do this first, I can't eat. It's also true that unless I get the wine out of the refrigerator, I can't eat. It's also true that I can't eat until I come home. It, 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 there's a lot of technicalities that might stop me from eating, but it is an exterior, it's an external technicality. It's a sif cotton in Shulchan Aruch that you're right. What can I do? I, I, I can't eat unless I make Kiddush first. That doesn't make it part of the Suda. It's not, that doesn't necessarily forge a connection to the Suda. Ain Kiddush Elabamakam Suda, that forms a connection to the Suda. Why? Because over there, that's exactly what Allah is telling me. Allah is telling me, Ain Kiddush Elabamakam Suda. Suda, Kiddush, they are inseparable one from the other. But just the fact that I can't eat without making Kiddush, that does not for you know, I also can't, I'll tell you something, I also can't eat, by the way, unless I say Kriyishma. Kriyishma is, is a a of Mitzvah Sey Daraisa, and Zman Kriyishma is right away in the morning, right away by Alois, Zman Kriyishma starts, Zichah by Neitzah Zman Kriyishma starts, before Neitzah Chama, Zman Kriyishma starts, I have a Chiyav Asei Daraisa, I'm not allowed to sit down to eat a Sudas Kva, until I say Kriyishma. So you're going to tell me that Kriyishma is connected to the Suda? Oh, Mamish, Kriyishma is Tzarchei Suda. Now I'll tell you where Kriyishma might be Tzarchei Suda. If you'll come and you'll ask me a Shaila, I washed Nitilus Yadayim, in order to say Amoytzi on my Lecha Mishnah, and after I washed it till Yadayim, I realized I didn't say Kriyishma yet, and now I'm not allowed to eat till I say Kriyishma. So yes, it's Tzorche Suda that you probably would be allowed to be Masik between the Tilis Yadayim and Amoytzi in order to say Kriyishma. It would be called Tzorche Suda, but it's not Machmasa Suda. It's not part and parcel of the Suda saying Kriyishma in order to allow you to eat. Making Kiddush is also not necessarily connected to the Suda because I have to do it before I eat. But the fact that Allah says, Ain Kiddush Ela B'Mokai B'Suda, that creates an inseparable connection. Okay. So I hope that that brought greater clarity. The only thing that I want to add to this, before we go weiter, is that on Ayin Hayom Beis in Sif Dalid, we saw that when it comes to Havdalah, and the reason I want to mention this is because, again, it illustrates the underpinnings of this whole conversation. In Sif Dalid, we saw that the Yayin of Havdalah is a bigger question. What we spoke about in Sif Dalid on Ayin Hayom Beis was, what happens if it's Motzei Shabbos? It's Matzah Shabbos. Now, you can't eat before you make Avdallah. You want to sit down to Malava Malka. You already David Mariv. You David Mariv and you are Mavdil. You said Atachan Antanu in Shman Esrei. But now you came home and you have to make Avdallah. Your wife also put out a beautiful Malava Malka. So what do you want to do? You want to make Avdallah. You're going to make a Bari Priyagafen on the Ayin. And then you want to sit down and you want to have Malava Malka. And as part of the Malava Malka, you're going to have Yayin. Okay. It's Yayin Shalafnei Hamazon, right? No, again, this is not standard issue Tuesday night Yayin Shalafnei Hamazon. You're not drinking it, Liftaya Hamayayim. You're not drinking it as an appetizer. Why are you drinking it? You're drinking it for a mitzvah. You're drinking it because you have a chiv. So is it the same as Kiddush? No, we saw in Sif Dalit it's not the same as Kiddush. In Sif Dalit, we see a machloikis. In Sif Dalit, but when it comes to Avdala, we had one opinion that said, We had one man the armor that said, Yes, it's the same as Kiddush. The same way the Hagafan and Kiddush patters the Yayin Shabbosai Hamazin, the Yayin of Avdala also patters the Yayin Shabbosai Hamazin. But then we had a Yesh Omrim that said, Not so fast. Not so fast. Only. If you went ahead and you made Havdalah clearly as part of the Suda, 
And we said either that means that you made Avdala between the Tilus Yadayim and Hamoitzi, which you could do because it's Tzarche Suda, because you can't eat before Avdala, or at least you made the Havdala Al Hashulchan, where you clearly you made it as part of the Malava Malka. Why is Havdala a bigger issue than Kiddush? Why, why is it more difficult to say that the Bari Priyagafet and the Havdalah wine patters the Yayin Shabbat Hamazan more so than the Bari Priyagafet of Kiddush? The answer is, Rabbi Yisai, because of this whole sprach that we're speaking about. Again, you need two factors. You need Chshivas and you need connection. Chshivas, you have Chshivas. The same way by Kiddush you have Chshivas, Chshivusa the Mitzvah, you have the chashivas of the mitzvah of Kiddush, makes it more chashiv than the yayin chabasai chasuda. So fine. So the mitzvah of Avdallah makes the Avdallah yayin more chashiv than the yayin chabasai chamazin. But how about connection? How about factor number two? By Kiddush, you have connection. Why do you have connection? And Kiddush shalom amakim suda. So you have connection. But by Avdallah, how do you have connection? How's Avdallah connected to the suda? What, what's the connection? Now, Yaakov, my nephew, Yaakov, does anybody suggest that the connection is, hey, you can't eat before Avdallah? No, because that does not forge a connection. That's an external technicality. That does not generate a connection between the Yayin of Avdallah and the Yayin Shebesei Hamazan. So therefore, we have a machloikis in Sif Talit. One man, the armor says, yes, there's a connection. The Chaynam Avdal al Shulchan. There's still a connection. Says the Mishnah, we're a nice cotton yud. What's the connection? No. Afilu Hachi Kevan. He says, even though Avagav da Avdala ain't a Shaycha Klaal, a Suda Kamei Kiddish, Avdala doesn't have a connection to the Suda the way Kiddish does. Afilu Hachi is still in all Kevan the Hivdil al Shulchan. Since you're making Avdallah by the table, it's clear where you prepared yourself for the Suda and you're sitting down by the Suda and you're making Avdallah by the Suda, it has a Shaykhis to the Suda. The Yeshayimim says, not so fast. The Yeshayimim wants that it should be much more connected to the Suda. He's not happy with, with this. But this is why Havdalah is a bigger question than Kiddush. It's because of factor number one, showing how there's a connection between the Yayin Shalafte Amazin and the Yayin Shabbosai Hamazin. Okay. I hope I did this sugya justice. Yaakov, I hope I answered your, your question. Now it's 38 minutes into this year. Once again, I am, you know what? I'm going to go a little bit weiter. Let's at least finish Sivav which is really a continuation of what we're speaking about over here. There's one Mishtabura left that we didn't cover in Sivav, which is Mishtabura Ois Kat Chav Zayin. What is Ois Kat Chav Zayin going on? It's going on the Ramah, second line down, Ayin Vav Amad Aleph, near the end of the line, where the Ramah says, and now here again we're talking about Birkas Hamazayin covering a Brachach Reina, and the Ramah says, Ul Inyin Yayin Shal Havdala Shal if you made Havdalah before Malava Malka, does benching at the end of Malava Malka cover the Bracha Achroina on the Yayin of Havdalah? Says the Ramah, Ayinli Kaman Simen Reish Tzadik Tes Sivches. Now let's remember. Does benching cover the Yayin of Kiddush? So we said yes. The Mishnah in Ice Cotton um, Chafav said yes, look at Reish Ayin Beis, and you'll see over there that benching covers Kiddush. And we explained why does benching cover Kiddush, because since ain't Kiddush Elamamakim Suda, Kiddush is considered Ba Machmas Hasuda. It's part of the Suda. Anything that's part of the Suda, covered by benching. But how about Avdallah? Like we just said, Benegad to the Bracha Rishayna. Is Avdallah part of the Suda? We saw in Sif Dalit, very big question. We don't see really how Havdalah is part of the Suda. So could benching cover the Yayin of Havdalah? Or do you have to make an Alagafen on the, on the Yayin of Havdalah? So the Ramah sends us over here to Simon Reish Tzadik Tes. Okay, so if you take a look at Simon uh, Reish Tzadik Tes, Sif Ches, 
the Mechaber over here really says not Poshet. Says the Mechaber, you know, if you if you drank Yayin of Havdalah before Malava Malka, then you washed and you ate Malava Malka. And during the Malava Malka, you did not drink any Yayin Shebesai Hamazai. If you drank Yayin Besai Hamazai by Malava Malka, then we could turn around and we could say, okay, Benching is going to cover the Yayin that you drank Besai Hamazai. You also drank Havdalah wine. Lifnei Hamazai, no, we'll link to two and we'll say that Birkis Hamazai covers both. Okay. But what if you didn't drink any yayin besay chamazin from Malava Malka? So you had Avdala yayin before you washed from Malava Malka, and then during Malava Malka you didn't drink any yayin. Does benching cover the yayin? Says the Mechaber, hmm. He says, I don't know. Yesh mi sha'omer shet sarich levarich brachrach reinal kaishel avdala. He says, we have the Tur who says that in that case you have to make a brachach reina on, on the Havdalah wine. It's not at all posh to say that the Havdalah wine is considered Ba Machmas Asuda. In what way is it Ba Machmas Asuda? Now, what do you mean? I couldn't eat unless I made Havdalah first. External technicality. That does not make it Ba Machmas Asuda. Very clear. It doesn't make it Ba Machmas Asuda. What's the Halakha Lamaisa? Says the Mishnah Brewer on Ice Cotton Reich Sadi Tess. And he, he makes very clear this distinction between Avdala and Kiddush. Kiddush Even though we said very clearly in Reishai and Beis that benching does patter the iron of Kiddush, Kiddush Ani, Kiddush is different. She eats Sarek Suda. They ain't Kiddush Elabamakim Suda. By Kiddush, ain't Kiddush Elabamakim Suda. So it's Ba Machmas Asuda. So Benching covers it. Mashenk and Avdala. Havdalah is not that way. He says, the rush doesn't hold that there's a chilek. But in the end, Halach HaLamaisa, he says, V'alkein nireh, she'em loy birech kaidem asuda, if you, if you didn't make an alagethen before the suda, lichat chila, you should make an alagethen on the, on the yayin that you drank by Avdalah before you wash from Allah Malka. You didn't? No, lo yavarach achakach. But the Eved, you could let benching cover it. That's what it says here in Reit Tzadik Tess. Now let's see the Mishnah Baruch's Katl Chav Zayin. Uleini nyayin shel Avdala. Ritzayin alarmar, what the Mechaber wants to say is, Teheim ain't a bomb, l'tzar suda. You can't call Havdala wine, bomb machmas ha-suda. Vayin sham, look over there, Reit Tzadik Tess. Shekasav, the way we write, Dim loy birch kaidem ha-suda. If you did not make an alagefen before the suda, before the Malava Malka, lo yavarach oid, but the Eved, you'll potter it with Berkas Hamazen. And in the Sharitzion, he's cut in Chavtes. He says you should have Beferish Das to potter the Havdala wine with Berkas Hamazen. Ule Inyan in Paita Berkas Hamazen, a Yain Sheshasa Acha Gemara Suda. When it comes to the question of does benching cover Yayin Shela Acher Amazon, which the Mishnah ultimately is going to say we don't have such a thing as Yayin Shela Acher Amazon. Because until benching, we consider everything part of the Suda. However, this is not negated to us. According to what we're going to say later on in Kofayin Zion, that we don't withdraw our hands from the Sud until benching. We don't have this concept of Yayin Shalakar Amazon. Their Yayin Shalakar Amazon was the Sud was over, and now we have, we're going to have a little break between the end of the Sud and benching, and we're going to drink some Yayin now, but it's not part of the Sud. It's after the Suda. We don't have such a thing. We don't end the Suda until benching. In Cain, have our cult, give us like a Suda, because of other poetry. When me will be honest, like a trillo, Tavia said she have it based because I'm wasn't lifter. Okay. Mirza Hashem, with the next chair, we will continue with Siv Zion. I'm asking the forbearance of the Olam. I'm, I'm not uh, doing this in order to catch. I'm not doing this. Uh, I, you know that I want to cover a page every day. Um, even even though we're already so far removed 
from the Dishu schedule, I'm not happy about it. I would like to be covering, you know, ground on a steady basis. But when it comes to a sugi like this, which is complex, and especially where questions come up, I feel that I have to do justice to the material, and I want to give it to the Olam in a clear, proper manner. So thank you for listening. Uh, thank you for joining me for Libra Atari, the source of Libra Atari, should be Megan against Kla Yisrael, Rabbi Shav Shazen, Yeshua Sephiroth, Panasa Shadukum Tolo Zenit, we should be Zaycha to the Gaula Shlema, with the BS Kyle Tzedek, Bemeher, Vyamenu, Amen, be well.